Having plenty of clean water when you are out on your adventures is absolutely essential. And for the last few months, I've been using this jerry can by Lifesaver that has a built-in filtration and pump. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a close-up look and I'm gonna give you my opinion, both pros and cons, and you can decide if you think this is a jerry can you may wanna consider on your next adventure. And then at the end of the video, I'll give it a recon gear score. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today I'm kicking off the Recon Gear series where we're gonna talk about off-road, overland, camping gear that you might find valuable on your adventures. This has been something that many of you have been asking me to do. And in this series, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna showcase products and I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like about them. And then I'm gonna give them a recon gear score based on practicality, quality and price. And hopefully that will help you make a decision on whether or not it's the right product for you. Now we're kicking it off by talking about this Lifesaver Jerry Can. And I think there are some cool features about this that are worth talking about. Now Lifesaver is a company that makes water and filtration systems. And this is one of their cans. This is called the 20,000 model. We'll talk about what that means here in a minute. And I've been using this for about three months and there's some things I like and don't like about it. But let's just jump in to the specifics. So to start off, this is a 4.9 gallon can that has some very durable walls. I've been very impressed with that. I have thrown this around the back of the truck and while some of the plastic has taken a couple of little abrasions, it's held up really well except for one little thing that we'll get to in a little bit. But what I do like about the can's design, it's, it's got these indentations and I actually was using some of this to put some straps on to hold it against the truck bed. So you could come up with a couple different mounting solutions there's even these holes here which you could you know maybe put like a pole through and mount it around or something if you wanted something a little more hard mounted i was just using straps and that was working well for me it's got a really sturdy handle up here on the top and then there are two ports here on the side the one port over here which i'm going to open up is the pump there was pressure in there so i'm letting go of some of that pressure so on this side is really your fill side because it's at your larger hole. So you're gonna fill the water up here. And the cool thing about this is it's got a filtration system which we'll talk about. So you can put clean water or not so clean water in here and you're gonna be okay. But you've got this pump system and this just screws right in. It's also your lid and then you can unscrew the cap here and then start pressurizing and it doesn't take a whole lot to pressurize this and then you just lock that down and now this system is pressurized and I can use this side over here which is the tap and this thing's got a little pressure in it so there's probably some water that's going to come out but it's cool because it has two little features on here one it's got kind of a pulse feature where you can just press and squirt the water and let go or if you're maybe washing dishes or you're taking a shower you just press and turn and then water will constantly come out of there until you undo it and then it stops it. So those are pretty cool little built-in features of that tap. Now there's going to be a little pressure here, but let me show you the filtration system. So the first thing you'll notice when you take this off is inside here, there's a little carbon filter. And then what the carbon does, it's gonna help clean out the chlorine, it's gonna get rid of odors and bad taste, and that is replaceable. There's some discs in there that you can swap in and out. And then here is where you've got this massive filtration system. Now, they claim that this will filter out 99.9% .9 of bacteria, viruses, and cysts. So you know the water you're drinking is going to be clean and safe. So you can run down to the river or the stream and fill this up. You don't have to put necessarily potable water in here. And I mentioned that this is the 20,000 series. And what that means is this will filter up to 20,000 liters of water or 5,300 gallons before you have to replace this system. So that's pretty solid. I think this is a great solution. Oh, I don't want to lose that O-ring right there. That's super important. Now, you can see that the tap is in this little cubby hole right here, which gives it a little bit of protection. But one thing that I had a challenge with was I had this in the back of the truck and I was on an adventure and some of my other gear was not secured the way it should have been. It was 100% on me and it busted off this little spigot here. And what that is, is it has a little O-ring on there and allows you to plug in your little shower system. 
And that works really nice um, to, if you want to take a shower or if you want to wash dishes. But that was the only challenge that I had with this thing is that broke. And so I had to replace this, which thankfully they sell replacement parts. You can get the tap, you can get the pump, uh, you can get a new filter for it, you can even get a new hose if you need to. The new tap was like $19. So that worked out really well. I just got a new one of those and no problems. And now I got to be more mindful when I'm packing my stuff. And typically when I have it set up at camp, I like to have it staged like this because that just makes it easy if I want to wash my hands really quick. It's already ready to go and I'll keep a bucket under there if I'm going to wash dishes just to kind of collect the excess water. I only use this a little bit. I mostly just do straight from the tap. But let me just give you my overall thoughts on this before we give it a recon score. You know, I've used several different water systems over the years. You know, as basic as just going to the grocery store and picking up a bunch of one gallon jugs and taking those with me for multiple days. Not the best way to do it. Uh, I've used the Rotopax cans, which those are nice, but they don't have any filtration system and they don't have any pump in there. So you gotta make sure that it's clean water all the time that goes into those. And I've used what's called a water port system, which was a nice little system that was similar to this but it didn't have the filtration that this one does. I think this is a nice all-encompassing solution. Plus, you know, this has multiple purposes. It's great to have when you're out on an adventure, but what if you're in an emergency preparedness situation? I mean, if we hit some big fires here in Southern California and we had to bail out, I'm taking this guy with me because I know wherever I go, if I can get near water, I can filter it and make sure that my family and I have clean drinking water. Now, before I give this the Recon Gear Score, let me just mention that there is an Amazon affiliate link for this. If you decide that you want to buy this, I appreciate it if you use that. And you can also find this on the Trail Recon Amazon shop. All right, let's give it a score. In the area of practicality, this is extremely practical because water is a basic requirement and this offers a way to store, filter, and dispense it all in one package. Plus, it comes in a jerry can container, making it adaptable to many storage systems already in existence, unlike other water systems that have unique shapes and sizes. Now, having pressurized water really is a luxury that isn't necessary, but when it comes to a piece of gear that provides clean drinking water, a system to wash your dishes, your hands, and even shower with that you can use when you're on your camping adventures or in an emergency situation, it really doesn't get more practical this. So I'm giving it a score of 10 out of 10. The quality of this jerry can is good, but the plastic, only three months old, is seeing some signs of wear, and I do worry about what this can will look like in about two years after being beaten up pretty good. The breaking of the tap end was disappointing, but it was really my fault, and it was easily replaced. My only other concern in the quality department is that, in my experience with manual plastic hand pumps, they do eventually fail. This one seems pretty stout, but time will tell how long it will last. So for those reasons, I'm giving the quality a 7 out of 10. Now for price, and this one is kind of tough. You could buy a standard jerry can, pick up an external hand pump and a filter, all for under $100. But those components may not work seamlessly together like this does. So there is some convenience in paying for a product that's all in one. $299 is still a little steep for a water can, but this is a good piece of gear. I would probably buy it again, and in my opinion, is worth a little extra expense, so I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 on price. And that gives this Lifesaver Jerry Can 20,000 a Recon Gear score of 23 out of 30. I think this is a pretty good piece of gear. Having everything all in one is a nice convenience. There are a lot of other good water systems out there, but I think I'll keep using this one for a little while longer. Let me know your thoughts about this Jerry Can, and if you have any comments about another product you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.